We are ready to begin. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Pretty yeah. good. We have a great session tonight. We're going to do a few uh, tips and tricks on Zoom. Um, that's what we're using here for, for this session here today. Uh, also, I have um, the intros. And so we got three brothers here, Rich, Gary, and Russ. And um, Gary, we'll go ahead and have you say hi first there in the middle. And then we'll bring in Rich, and then I'll take it away. Okay, good. Well, this is Gary Postino, and uh, I'm the middle brother of the three. And what I do is the websites, business, social media, and do, and do some of the, uh, the graphics for, for the group. Uh, our group being uh, FBI Apps is our, our company, I should say. We have a, um, a patent for the Jethro Tall um, app application, and I'll, take, I'll let that go on with Russell. Why don't you tell us about that copyright? All right. Well, first, uh, Rich, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rich Pastino. I'm from Mance Music. And uh, to my students, how you doing, Aiden? How's that hand? Did you wreck it on that trampoline? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, you have to play right-handed guitar now. Ralph and James, how you doing? And Rob, I don't know where you are. I can't see you. I don't have a cam, but I know you're there. Uh, where I are am, you rocking tonight? I was People there. Rock songs. <laughs> Take it away, Russ. All right, great. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started here then. Russ Pistino, I'm a, a computer programmer by day, and, uh, and helped out again coding the uh, Jethro Tull app, which you see right here. We have a killer new release coming out of this very soon. We're just about to get a release candidate done and uh, uh, totally, totally redone. We're going to have to do a new screenshot here of what this app looks like. So, uh, good things to come there, and also we have a new store as well with app merchandise that we will have in the app uh, as well, but it's fbiapps.storeenvy.com, so if you want to get some Jethro Tull app uh, merchandise, we got beach towels, we got uh, cups, mugs, all sorts of great Also, to get the goods for the lesson today, uh, the musicians that have lined up here on my uh, we have uh, two lesson uh, sheets, uh, actually three, three sheets. These lesson one's got two sheets, the lesson two's got uh, one sheet. And uh, so download those from weekoblock.com if you have them ready. Uh, in lesson, you got to click on lesson one and lesson two, download both of those. Okay, uh, Russell, a little housekeeping. Those that are not talking right now, why don't you mute your own mic? Okay. Get a little background noise. Good, and I will uh, put in the chat window the uh, link for the week of rock guitar lessons to download. Uh, Russell, mute Richard's mic while he's practicing there. All right. So that's the, it's in the chat window, and then you got to get uh, Richard. Gary, if you can access the uh, participant list, that'd be a lot easier for you to manage than me while I'm presenting. So see if you can find that, Gary, and I will mute Rich, Richard for now. Okay, come on back to the deck and continue on with our session here tonight. Um, the agenda, basically, I've got, I got some polls I'm going to do, ask you guys some questions on your experience level, and then also show you how to do the polls through Zoom. We got five quick tips, and then we're going to get right into the guitar lesson. So the first uh, uh, thing we got here then on polls is basically uh, this really shows you uh, answers questions to an audience when you're presenting online or running a meeting online because you don't really know like an audience if you do a straw poll. You can have people wave their hands like, you know, what is your experience level? And, um, you know, how many people are, you know, under a year, over a year, that sort of thing. But you don't have that luxury when you're doing things online. But you can put some forethought into the questions you'd like to ask. And um, uh, so what we're going to do is do a poll here on, uh, on, on how much you've used Zoom and then also your guitar playing experience. And once again, it's very easy. You just go ahead and click on the, uh, the poll uh, icon, which was uh, uh, highlighted here on the bottom here in red. And then uh, you'll come up with this, and you can add your own poll when you get your own account. Uh, so that's how you do it. And let's go ahead and actually share a poll right now. 
So what I'm gonna do is share the first question for everybody. I'm gonna watch a poll, and then uh, you should see this uh, on your device. The question is, what level of expertise uh, do you have? And I don't, uh, we have five of eight that have answered. That's great. And there it is. So I'm going to put uh, my answer in on my little phone here. All right. Most of you are brand new to video conferencing. About three, well, actually about three or four of you. A couple have used it uh, before and the remainder are experienced. So that's about 38%. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead and end this call and that uh, share this result so you can see it. And then uh, let's do the next one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring up our next question, which is your guitar experience. So I'm gonna watch this poll here and you can tell me how new are you to playing guitar? Uh, this is my first lesson. I have been learning for a few months. Uh, I have been learning for a year or I can pass for a pro or semi-pro. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rich, it looks like um, we have five or six in the first three categories. Everybody's pretty much under a year here. You got one pro uh, out there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, answer that. So. This way we learned a little bit, you know, about uh, who's participating here in the audience and uh, that's how you go about uh, to execute and start up a poll. Now on the tips, these are pretty cool tips, especially for those that have been using uh, for a while, uh, Zoom for a while, if you haven't been, uh, there's a, a five new uh, little tips you can use here, including scan your contacts, join a meeting, chat it up, close up, and travel the globe. We'll talk about these now. So it starts with inviting somebody to your meeting. When you create an account or a Zoom account, you have your own personal meeting ID. It's all yours. And so what you can do then is invite others to join. You can send an email. And there's also an option on uh, to scan your contacts. And this is on the mobile devices under uh, in the Zoom app. If you go under settings and then contacts, you'll see there is a uh, phone contact matching solution. So that makes it a lot easier to go ahead and invite people. Second thing is to join a meeting, right? The easiest way to join a meeting, especially those that are new, is simply click on the link on the invite that was sent to you. Uh, if you don't see a link and you only see the meeting ID, that'll work too. That's the thing that's in dashes, it dashes in a, in a, uh, it's like a nine or 10 digit number. And then all you do is load the Zoom app and type in that, uh, that meeting ID and then you're in there as well. So pretty easy to do that straightforward. Um, so if you want to chat it up, you swipe left to see everyone at once. So that's on your mobile device. And then uh, if you go to the other direction, uh, you need to leave for a minute or two, you swipe right. And you know what, I think I got those reversed. If you swipe left, at least on the iPhone, that's where you get the driving mode. And um, if you, swipe to the right that's where you get the gallery view so that's pretty cool and uh, basically um, the driving mode uh, works uh, even at home so uh, and if you're having a bad hair day just switch off your camera use audio only but for this session we'd like to keep your um, uh, video on and uh, this way we can see your reactions also there's a new option to get uh, close up you can touch up your appearance appearance you can smooth out things a bit and that's under settings and meetings and touch up my appearance and there's a little toggle switch you can see on the bottom there and you get finer granularity as you move up and down the scale there so that's a pretty nice feature and travel the globe right so virtual backgrounds all you got to do is is tap on the more button on your mobile device or uh, the more button on your uh, it's actually under the video uh, drop drop uh, down uh, for the tablet and uh, or actually for the um, uh, laptop. And then you can, you have uh, a few canned images that you can select. You can see a couple I selected here. I did a sunset shot yesterday down at the beach. On the right, I've got the uh, my CD collection behind me there. That was a big project I finished up. So uh, 
uh, th that's it. So on the laptop, you basically have two windows. You have the main meeting window and then the gallery and uh, two windows mm -hmm. on the phone. You just look between uh, the gallery and speaker view like we talked about. And then two windows on the tablet. You slide to flip uh, between gallery and speaker view and that's it. So if you missed the last session that we did last month, go out to Gary's site, the inbusinessseo.net. You'll see that listed at the top. There is a uh, the Zoom and guitar lesson we did la uh, the last time around. And uh, Rich does have um, guitar lessons uh, you can sign up for. For those that are brand new to guitar and you want to start learning some uh, more, just go to weeklyrock.com slash lessons.html. And once again, this is the slide for the goods today. If you didn't download the yet, I put the link into the chat window, but it's weekofrock.com. Just scroll down a little page and hit twice. You got to hit the lesson one and lesson two. These are the selects we're going to be going with here. Rich, how about that? We got uh, some really good tunes here. And what I'm going to do is stop sharing my screen and Rich, we're going to have you be the presenter and I'm going to uh, go ahead and make you a co-host. All right. And you can go ahead and uh, share any screens you got to share there. And I'm going to change my background because it doesn't come out too good with the virtual background when I got the guitar in my hand. So I'm gonna go grab my guitar. All right, we're gonna get going here. Any minute now with now, part two of the part two, right? The guitar lesson piece that everybody's really waiting for and staying up late for. All right, glad, glad to have everybody here at 10 o'clock. Fantastic. Can you hear me now? There he is. Yeah, you can hear me? I can hear you, the maestro. Oh God. We're gonna we're gonna start uh, with a br some brand new uh, uh, rock licks. Uh, the, the ten that we had last time are really good. But I got five new ones, and actually there's ten, but I only got five for today's lesson. I want to start off with "Born to Be Wild." How many people know that song? Raise your hand, okay? If you don't know "Born to Be Wild" by Steppenwolf, great tune. And there's only a couple of notes in it actually three notes in this whole lick. And my brother and I were working on it the other night. Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf has the signature lick. And it's E open on the first string. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Another E. Believe it or not, two of them. So there's three E's. So you go one and then two more. And then D is on your third. C sharp, back to D, and that's the whole thing. Let me turn the distortion off so you can hear the playing guitar. E, and then two more E's, then D, C sharp, D. Hey, Rush, I think you got it. Do that again. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Born to be wild. So Aiden, you could even do this with no fingers almost. E, E. And then D, C sharp, D. Yeah, you got to use your fingers. Boy, I hope your hand gets well right away. <laughs> All right, I'll do it one more time. E, 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 D, C sharp, D. Try it, Russ. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, Robert, how about you? You want to try that? <laughs> there you go. Right, yeah, you got one, e, e, then two, then D, C sharp, and E. Boy, I love that chord there, too. E, e. Same chords as Day Tripper. Same chords as Satisfaction. Born to be wild. I like that. Hey, Ralph, I think you could play the whole song with me sometime, huh? <laughs> Born to 
I think uh, everybody could do uh, that all at the same time, in fact. You know, it's really nice and easy. You know, open E, then hit it twice, and then the D, C sharp, back to D, and you just repeat that. In the record, you see, oh, you see him do it all on the high fret. He does 12th fret, then 10, 9, 10. So on the record, you have a nice guitar going. And you got an organ playing that, too. Anybody else want to give that one a try? I can't see. Uh, Where are you, 9 and 10? Yeah. It's 12, 12, 10, 9, 10, 12. Yeah, James, I think you could do it with the open E, because you're working on the open E. And then two E's, a D on the third finger. Then go to the second fret, which you haven't learned that yet, C sharp. Then come back to the D. And that's it. Now, if we could get we could get uh, Ralph to play some chords for us, we can get a rhythm going. Would you like to try that, Ralph? Give me some E and Ds like this. E, two, three, four, D, and your D chord. And E chord. E chord. And D. E. And here we go. One. Oh, we got rhythm now, too. Not bad. Robert, let me hear your guitar. Oh, there it is. So this is not one that we did for lessons tonight, but it's beautiful, ain't it? E, E, E. Yeah, we got Hey, that's pretty good, Robert. E, 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 e. Right. Now, I promised uh, Robert we would be doing a new song tonight. It's called Inagata de Vida. And I'm going to go right to Iron Butterfly. <laughs> so demonstrating this right. one, this is a great riff. And I was telling my brother yesterday that the DJs used to like this song because it was 21 minutes long and they could go to the bathroom while it was on. <laughs> so it was Yeah, they could go. <laughs> Right, so, while the DJs are up. They got it. So you got <laughs> right? two keys open. They stay on the fourth string and go to F, E. Now you got to go to the low C on the five, third fret, and back to the D. Let it ring. And then the three notes on the third string. A, G sharp, first fret, open G. And then a quick F to go around and turn around. And it's got to be repeated many, many times. Nice rhythm. Gary's got a hand up here. That part's not in there. If you want to learn that, I'll teach that to you. Okay. That part. <laughs> so you got to have my brother Ross try this with me. No. Yeah, Can you just repeat the distortion, I think, on this one. Sounds good. So if I take the distortion off, you won't hear that buzzing that you heard before. Ross, try the double D with me. And then go to the F, E, low C, everybody can do low C, and then D. And then you go to the third string, and like this, Robert, you go two, one, open on the third string, and then put the F in there to go back to the repeat. And Ralph, one of my favorite chords, D minor, for that whole section, you know, right? Yeah, 
And I think, you know, we could do a good job on this, James, because it's on your fourth string, and you'll be learning that anyway. So you might as well learn in the Gata De Vida. Double D, F, E. You got to have a low C on the fifth string, third fret. We haven't got there yet, but we will. And then back to the D. And then as that D ringing, you go to the A on the third, open. So two, one, open. And then a quick F and back again. Russ, you want to give it a shot? All right. Two Ds. A. And then G. A, G sharp. And then F, D. All right, one more time. Try it again. Robert, can you lower your camera so I can see your fingers? I want to see your fingers. Um, yeah, okay, try it now. That's good, Robert. F, E, C, D, A, G sharp, G, F, D. Now, some people call that G sharp, A flat. That's correct. It could be an A flat. So if you think about A, a Where am I starting, Richard? G, open D. Two Ds. Then an F. Then an E. C. Back to the D open. Then you go to your third string. A. You got it. First finger. That's A flat or G sharp. G open. And then the F. And I'm telling you, it's got to be a couple hundred times in the song, really. It really is nice. You got to do it twice. I think you sound good. Okay, we're going to go to the old licks now. Hey, Ian, how about you? We got your guitar? Where's your guitar tonight? You got it? Um, Not right now. Oh, okay. So he's just watching today. <laughs> he's got a broken hand, but man, he's oh, getting look at that. Okay, well, you're pretty dedicated. Your broken hand is to go to a lesson. This is great. <laughs> All right. We're going right. to do the... We're going to do two songs that almost have the same notes in them. Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles, and would you believe it, Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. Almost Painted the same black. note. Wow. So, yeah, Eleanor Rigby starts with the open E. I did this with Robert tonight, I believe. E. Oh, Ross, this F sharp. Chair. What's that? G. Chair. I A on the fifth. Back to G on the third. F sharp with the first finger, open E, and the famous word bag, B A G. I wrote the violin part in there, and it's A B G B, A B G B, E B. Now, if you notice, I'm not using any notes on the first fret. This is all second position guitar. So the, the and there's only two chords in the whole song: C chord and E minor. Ah, look at all the lonely people. E minor. Come on, James, you can do it with me. C chord. Ah, there's Ralph Scott in that E minor. Okay, I'm going to play the melody. Ah, look at all the lonely people. A, B, G, B, A, B, G, B, E, B. It's kind of hard to get that part because it's so freaking fast in the music. Really fast. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I got it right here. As you play us, try, try it, Ross. Open E. F sharp with the first finger. Right, what? G. I'm sorry, what did you say? Open E. F sharp. High E. Yep. G, A, on the five, back to G, F sharp, open E, 
And the word bag, B A G. Open B on the second string. A and G. That's it. Now, James, this part might be hard for you, but if you do A B and then G B and then A B again and then G B. Every other note's a B, and then the last one is that Elvis E. And it's really fast in the record. A, B, G, B, A, B, G, B, E, B. Every one of those notes are so fast. Let me see. My Bluetooth speaker is at Matt's. I tried to hook it up with my Star Wars, but it wasn't working. So let me do that one more time so you can see it. Open E. Everybody do open E. Then F sharp with your first finger. G with your second finger on the third fret. Stretch to the five for the A. Make sure you're on the dot for the A. Come back to the G with the second finger on the third fret. Then first finger on the F sharp. Open E. And then the word bag. Now we're switching to the second string. B A G. And the violin part is A B G B A B G B and then E B. All right, raise raise your hand if you got it. Got it, got it, got it. We are gonna go painted black now. Painted black, same notes. Start with the uh, rest. Right. Robert's got it already. How about that? E, F sharp, G, A, G. That sounded good. F sharp, two E's, and then the D sharp is on the fourth fret of the second string. Then you go open E again, F sharp. E and it yep. ends on the D sharp. I think I got that one, Richard. That sounds great, man. Go ahead, do it. Hooray! Wow. Hey, nice no? going. James, how about you trying that? I know it might be a little hard. Your dad might have to help you there. E. Then go to F sharp on the second fret. I'll wait for you. Then the G on the third. You know the G. A is a new note for you on the five of the first string. Then come back to the G. Then F sharp on the first, second fret. Then two E's. One, two. Here's a D sharp. You don't know that note. Fourth fret of the second string. Then open E. F sharp, E, and E sharp. Oh, what a what a great tune that is! Really good, and it's got some great drums in it. Hey, uh, how about Neil? Is, uh, Neil is uh, Neil. Uh, I can see him now. One? Can you hear me, Neil? You can see you, Neil. Okay. I can't oh. see you, but you can hear me. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can good. see you. How's it going, man? I'm, I'm the same. I'm here. Painted black. You want to try it, Neil? You got your guitar there? We guitar play it high. He sings it low. I'll show you how to do that in a second. What's the Xbox music there you're showing? So what he does, he, he sings it with the low Elvis E. Then he uses F sharp, G open, he sings A, G, F sharp, same notes, two Elvis E's, and then the D sharp is first fret. Back to E, F sharp, E, D sharp, so he sings. I see a red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore, I want them to turn black. But the guitar is just like Ralph was doing it up high. Sing it 
cuts your riff, really. You could do a little vibrato on the last note. As you hit that D sharp, you can... In fact, the beginning is... You got that in there. Well, our lesson would not be complete unless we did Aqua Long by Jethro Tell. Oh, boy. So don't go nowhere, because this is it. Yeah. If we don't do this, we're in trouble. I think it's very <laughs> appropriate for us to do this. <laughs> Love and it. I think Robert may have had, had time to work on this a little bit. D open, G bass. So D open, and then the G bass on the sixth string, Russ. Yeah. And then B flat, Ralph has got it. Then C, C sharp, and C. These are low notes, James. You haven't got them yet, but man, if you can get these, these are really cool. So D open, you go to your sixth string, do the G, B flat on the first fret, Third fret is C, C sharp, and then C. And in motion would be. Spencer, uh, how so about me, you? you want to uh, try a little Spencer? slow version of this? D open. And Ross, you got to do the low G with me. Okay. And then the B flat on the first fret. Stay on the fifth string. C, D sharp, and C. Yeah, and you, you, I, I know <laughs> Mark Barr does another technique. He starts with the D on the five. And he goes to G with the first finger. Then the B flat he does with the pinky on the six. Oh, okay. And then he does the one, two. So Martin Barr does a little bit different form, but the way I wrote it, it'll work. There's tonight, like guys, I got to call notes. it a night. Sounds okay. good. I got to call it a night, guys. Sounds good. Yeah, All good. right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Richard. Is uh, Spencer your student too? Yep. Uh, Spencer, yep. you want to come online and try it or? Oh, I don't think I'm ready yet. <laughs> Not yet? All right, Spencer. You keep no working problem. on it, man. I just want to make All sure. All right, Russ, you, you going to try it one time with me, man? Try it, Russ. All right. D. Low G. B flat. C, C sharp, and C. Now, there's four beats in between. It doesn't repeat right away. There's like four beats in between. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not bad, Ralph. That looks good. I heard that. So that next part is really cool. So one time it goes D, G, B flat, C, hold the C sharp, and C. And if you want the rest of the song, come see me. I got the rest of it for you. It goes <laughs> the C sharp, E flat three times. F three times, E flat, F, E flat, F, F sharp, C sharp, and then three E's, oh, sorry, F sharp, and with a D. Sounds good, man. So what do you uh, think? Great job, Rich. <laughs> good and, lesson. Uh, next quarter, who knows, you might hear a little bit of this. Yeah. Crazy train. James likes that one. Do you have another uh, 
Another song that you want me to do real quick? Let me know. All right. Yeah. Uh, smoke on the water. All right. A smoke on the water is all on the second, I mean, the third and fourth string. Yeah. Third and fourth string. You do open. That is a powerful chord. Then you're going to do both notes on the third fret. I use my second and third finger because I got that control with that. And when I get to the five, five fret on the fourth and the third, I let it ring. Then I start over. Open, three, six, five. All on the fourth and third string. Then open, three, five. And then three open. Wow. Open three six five. Open three five. You can bar it too. I bet you, James, you can learn that in about two minutes. Open first, then the third fret, both of them, and then both on the five. Open, three, six, five. I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out tonight. Open three, five, let it ring, and then three open. My favorite part is smoke on the water, fire in the sky. Smoke on the water. All right, Ralph, take it away. Hey, Neil, this is a great little lick for you. Nice. And Spencer, you can learn it too. I know you could. You if don't I have to I have to learn take all the. Right. You don't Neil, have everybody. to have the distortion. You can do it without distortion. You can What's do the, it slow. What's the song? Just let it go. Ring. And I'll tell you, that's the way it goes. Is that Gary? What's that song? Gary, you got to wrap it up there, buddy. Yeah. We, what's that song? We got to go. What's that, what's that song? Who did that we song? We got to get out of this place. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> We gotta get out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. If this is the last thing we ever do, we gotta get out of this place. Girl, there's a better life for me and you. All right, that's a wrap. All right, let me uh put the closing slide up here. Go back to the deck. Yep. And we're done here until next quarter. There'll be five more. Five more next quarter. Because there's going to be 20 all together. Maybe I'll use that one. That's a good one. All right. So here we are. I'm going to... Uh, that looks good. Up. So... Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Hope you had a good time. Um, yep, thank you. I'm finally learning guitar. I can't believe it. I've been had <laughs> all these years, Rich, and then now we got Zoom to uh, <laughs> that between Buffalo and Florida. So um, That's right. You could be ZZ great. Top. Our next webinar will be on January 11th, 2020, at the start of the new year. Uh, and please uh, download the Jeff Rotel app if anybody wants to be a uh, tester on that. Please let Rich know that or, or him or myself uh, at Russ at FestinoBrothers.com. And uh, or you can put in at, right at info at FestinoBrothers.com too would work too. So we'll put you on the tester list. That should be right around the corner. And on that, we highlight the newsletter that Rich does every month. Uh, monthly newsletter at Jeff Rotel for fans, by fans, and you'll love that. So um uh, lots of great stuff, and Gary's got some great, great information on his Tips and Bites news as well. And uh, we've got um, uh, app memorabilia uh, coming your way as well. 
So that's it for this show. And I'd like to thank everybody for coming. And it's a wrap. Thank you, Aiden, for staying up. I hope you're all right for school tomorrow. I appreciate your involvement today. And don't worry. I'll teach you all this stuff when you're back in action, okay? Okay.